Hi guys and welcome to another video on my channel. Today I'm gonna start populating this preamplifier board which I designed it a while ago and because I'm struggling with the time every day when I was coming back from work 20-30 minutes uh, every day I was looking in the schematic and selecting the components so I'm not sure if I have all the components here but I'm gonna start uh, populate with what I have here and if I will not manage to finish this uh, board today we're gonna do another part and we're gonna see on the last part uh, some test on this board to see how that performs. And this happened because if you don't watch the last video when I mentioned that my wife is uh, pregnant, I'm gonna put the video up here in some place. So in June is due day of our baby and I'm happy because it's a boy and I'm gonna be able maybe to teach him electronic stuff what I'm doing and maybe do some videos also when he's growing up. Who knows? So let's see the future of my channel. And then because also I changed my uh, job, I will gonna put on the description below the link of the YouTube channel about uh, what we are doing on the on my new job. And if you like it, feel free to subscribe and watch that video like that. You're gonna understand what we are doing over there. So now, without further ado, let's uh, put everything on my working bench and start populating this board. Let's have a look first on this schematic. So I draw it a while ago. So practically we have uh, three inputs over here, different impedance, like I have also a microphone input over here. This is the preamplifier for the microphone and then two other preamplifiers over here with different impedance of input. Then we have the tone correction over here if it's a standard buck sandal. And we have the first input transistor that amplifier be the signal. And here we are cor correcting the tone control. And then from here we are sending the signal amplifier more and then update it to be in the output. Here I have all the components and looks like I have all of them. I'm not missing any components so I'm gonna be able to finish it. So let me bring the PCB board over here now. So I already put all the resistors that uh, need for this uh, project in the place and I need just to solder them. I don't solder nothing because I just only put them in so just need to solder. I'm thinking to hold all the resistors in place while I'm soldering to use this one and to put it over here on the top and use some masking tape in order to keep it down and like that when I swap it it will not fall down. So let me fix that one and I'm gonna start soldering all these resistors. Looks like the idea to hold the resistor in place like that is working really well because as you can see I can turn it around and nothing fall down. So let's start soldering all these resistors and then we're gonna continue with the other components. soldering all the resistors so the next step is to solder all the small capacitors that I have around here so I'm gonna see which capacitor are the smallest one and I'm gonna start soldering those ones and then maybe I will gonna continue with the transistors so let me see the capacitors These are all the capacitors that they need to go in this board so I'm gonna just go to have a look for the smallest ones that I have here Looks like there is few of them. So I'm gonna start with those ones to see where they're coming and where they need to be soldered. So which value we have here? So we have 22 microfarads, 2.2. But I think I have other ones of 22 microfarads. And I think this one I'm gonna use. Let me see in the schematics where the 
22 microfarads are going so these are 2.2 and 22 are here they should be on the input stage so in this case i'm going to use the small one let me have a look so it's telling me a c10 and c1 so let's have a look the c1 and c10 so c1 is a very small one and c10 c10 is a larger one so i'm going to use the 22 microfarad this size so let's put this one aside and let's start with the 2.2 microfarad so i have c1 and c2 that are the 2.2 microfarad c1 it's this one here because it's stereo i have one for the left channel one for the right channel and then c2 is that one there now let's solder these four capacitors the capacitor soldered next step is to solder the transistors so the transistor that i'm using are bc109 are metallic uh, transistors that uh, i really like to use them on uh, preamplifier in special because uh, you know the metal can isolate all the frequencies that are around here and like that keep the signal pure so let's just turn on the other side and solder them transistors also soldering in place from the tone correction now i need to see the transistor over here but here i have uh, in one side a uh, pnp this one as an npn and i have a pnp that i need to see in the right place where i need to put the pnp so we're gonna start with that one over there so i have the t9 over here which is 2n2907 and uh, which is this one here, which is a PNP, the other ones are all of them BC109, IHR, uh, NPN transistors. So I already put them here, so let's turn over to solder also the PNPs ones. And we have soldered also the PNP, the 2N2907A transistors. It's are also metallic ones over here. So now I'm gonna just mount also the other uh, PC109 HR here. And I have another 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 pieces more. 10 transistors more and then I'm gonna continue with the other capacitors. All the transistors are in, so let's uh, solder also these 10 transistors over here that I just match them and put them in. So let's turn this board on the other side and start solder all these transistors.
here we go. Also, the other transistor, all the transistors are soldered. Now we're gonna continue with the co capacitors. I already put all the 4.7 microfarads capacitor. In total, are 18 pieces. HR 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. And this is a stereo, so in total, 18. So let's solder all these ones as well. So the capacitor the 4.7 microfarad are in now let me see which one i will gonna do the next ones i already put also the 22 microfarad capacitor each are one two three four and on the schematics are all these ones here so i have 22 microfarads here one 22 microfarad here the second one so in the stereo version there is two and two and four let's solder also these ones now actually there is six so where is the other ones let's have a look so the other ones of 22 should be here. So I have 1, 2 and 3. So in, in stereo version it are 6. So let's solder them as well. Here we go, the 22 microfarads capacitor are in as well, so let's uh, go to the next step. So next I come in with the C29, which is 100 microfarad, which are these two blue over here, so let's solder them also as well. The 100 microfarad capacitor are in as well. So now next one we're gonna go to the 33 microfarad. So let's install them and solder them as well. So 33 microfarads are according with the schematic at the C13 over here. So let's have a look the C13 where they are. So C13 are here. Put them also these ones here. And let's give a solder as well. Thirty-two microfarads are in as well. So next step, I'm gonna see what I'm gonna go from these ones. Next, I'm gonna go to put the ten microfarad and one microfarad capacitor. So let's see the ten microfarad, which one are on the schematics. So ten microfarad are the C28. So let's have a look where are the C28. So C28 is located over there. Let's have a look the one microfarad capacitors, uh, Rubicon. So let's have a look one microfarad capacitors. They they are, they are C27 over there. So C27 is located over here next to C28. And let's give a quick solder. This one are in as well, so next step I'm gonna see what I can choose from all that components over there. So I already put in the 47 nanofarads, 220 picofarads and 100 picofarads, each on the schematic are this capacitor, this capacitor and this capacitor. So let's give a solder straight away also to these ones. Here we go, 
this board is uh, almost finishing. Few capacitors over here, variable resistor over here, and these ones here I will not solder because when I designed this board, I designed to use it with the one, amp one amplifier which was powered from 50 volts. So here I have the drop voltage resistors and the smoothing capacitor next to it in order that power all this stuff here. So now I will not put these ones yet because I'm gonna finish all this one and I'm gonna see if it's working uh, with 22 volts is really good and if it's not I need to then recalculate the voltage drops over here which are this one 6.8k 10k 10k and 10k so I'm gonna finish until here and I'm gonna try to give a test to see how it's working with the regulator power supply that I have and I can regulate the voltage in order to understand the right voltage that might can work well this board and then I'm gonna recalculate this uh, resistors in order that I can put also the capacitors over here let me just solder also these uh, few capacitors and uh, variable resistor over here and then we can give a test so I put the 22 nanofarads over here and 2.2 nanofarads over here and variable resistor so let's give a solder quick also to these ones Here we go, it's almost ready, just I need to solder these kind of connectors over here for the input, for the potentiometers and for the outputs. So let me also solder that one. And finally we finish the board, it all gonna looks like that. I have here the, all these jumpers for the input signal, for the output signal. So I have output red, input are black and then input all the on the preamplifiers are white and the output I put them yellow. These are the potentiometer for treble and the bus control. So I have this one which is treble and it's coming the next one over here and this is the bus gonna be here and the other one it will gonna be here and from here we're gonna control the bus and from here we're gonna control the treble. I hope you enjoyed this video guys and don't want to make it too much longer. So we're gonna finish like that for today and then stay tuned, please subscribe, activate the notification bell to don't miss the next part when I'm gonna do a test on this board. So until the next video guys, bye bye and have a good day.